communicate with the person, you may have a business opportunity. We have kind of gotten away from the personalization of business cards. May I keep this card? Okay, thanks. All right. Um, use proper etiquette. Be generous. Give cards out everywhere, all the time, to everybody. Use every. Don't be embarrassed. You're not offending anyone. I give them to the waiter when I go to a restaurant. You know, I give them to whoever I meet anytime. Hey, it's nice to meet you. Gee, I'll buy something. Here's my card. And a lot of times, people really, really want. And it's hard, isn't it? Because it pushes us out of the emotional box. See, do you get embarrassed when you do that? Oh, yeah. Okay, but you know, tell me. Yeah, I'm not trying to embarrass you, but I'm really curious. <laughs> No, I'm not. <laughs> Help me understand, okay, because I, I struggle with it too. <clears throat> what is the thing that embarrasses you about cards, roughly? What? Now, speak of the mic. <laughs> I feel like I'm pushing myself on someone. Okay. All right. I won't go any further than that. Okay. <laughs> I won't, because that's a fair statement, right? All right. I want to do Lenny's. You brought me cookies today. How do you feel when you give out a business card? She's holding the card, too. It's soul food. It's, it's good. I mean, it's the only way for me to market is to get my food in people's mouths. So here's a free sub. Come in and try us out. Come try it out? Okay, I'm not trying to show the mic. You're kind of holding on to your card. I want to know what you're thinking. What are you thinking? I was just taking another look at them and, and comparing them. Could I see your card? Sure. <laughs> oh, what a pretty card. LIV con communications. LJV. Oh, I'll say LG. Yeah, they kind of put them close together. They put them too close together. I get it now. They did that. Innovate, create, generate. This is Lisa, by the way, if you want to know Lisa. Hi, Lisa. I have your card. Okay. I'm going to wait. I'm going to surprise all of you here. You think I'm going to stand up there and get all stressed out here? Why do you, do you use business cards? I've ordered them. They're coming in today or tomorrow. Okay. I'm very excited. We, it's been a long time developing the logo. What, what do you do? I do um, market consulting, work with uh, people who market to teams and kids. Oh, how cool. Okay. I can't wait to see her. Good. Okay. Thank you. What do you do? I'm just curious. Uh, Cardiopulmonary neuromuscular therapy. Wow. <laughs> if anybody needs help, <laughs> I am so glad he is here. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. I'm sneaking around here. Sorry. Okay. Here's my friend Chris Sater. He does computer stuff. Chris, why do you give business cards? I'm sorry? Why do you give business cards? Just a do you feel like I'm making you stressed out because I'm walking around the room like this? Don't be embarrassed. No, I'm trying to, I'm trying to show you that you're so important that you have to do this. Sir, why do you give business cards? Get my name out, make the connection, and have a chance to follow up. Okay, make the connection. Okay, my shopping genie. Oh, I remember you called. Okay, why, why do you give business cards? So that I can help others with I like that. Hey, this is this is the shopping genie. See you at break. Okay. Laney, how you doing? Okay. Tell me why. This is Laney Neiman. She's a psych PhD like me. Ha ha. Okay. <laughs> and she does special things too. And she's looking for some new opportunities. So why do you do it? Why do I give up business cards? Mm -hmm. Because it's my brand. And, uh, I, Excuse my and uh, I want people to know that I'm a business coach, a career coach, and a life coach. And I think my people usually like the way my Looks. I like the yellow. Yeah, so it's yellow's cool. cheerful and, uh, and it's got building blocks on it. Okay. May I have it? I like it. I already have one of her. Okay. Do you get, are you getting a sense of this? Everybody has something? Oh, she wants to show me something. Okay, let's go. I'm going to get back to you. I want to just want to know. We'll, we'll do this. Red Door, and she's from Washington, Missouri. St. Louis, Missouri. St. Louis, Missouri. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, we want the people to know what kind of service we're offering so we can help them. Okay. And it's really cool because it's magnetic, so it's in their face every day. Okay, <laughs> red door ladies. Okay. I got another card. Okay, what do you do? The smash ups. I heard about you. Well, we recycle bottle glass. So when someone says, hey, that's a lovely necklace you have on, I want them to know it's more than just a lovely necklace. This is from a Bailey's bottle. That's beautiful. Did you see that? It's gorgeous. Can we stand up and just show it to him for a minute? This is beautiful. Have you seen it? Look how pretty it is. She just was on uh, KMO BTV uh, last Wednesday, too. Isn't that cool? And it's recycled. Go green. Yay. Wait, wait. I'm almost done. We got, I promised her. Yeah. I wanted to make a comment because we have a small marketing business. We don't um, give business cards. We exchange business cards. And 
when we started 14 years ago, there was a particular author, uh, Bob Berg, Endless Referrals, and he taught us one simple thing. What you do, and that's why there's nothing on the back of our card, is when you exchange a card, you do learn about each other, but what you have, the second part is you have a little postcard similar to your business card. You have it pre-printed blank, and you go to a meeting like this, you meet somebody, mm -hmm. in your car, you write a note, it was so nice meeting, I'm so glad, you know, Dr. Fine.